Hey folks, my name is Wade Atterbury and I'm building a tiny hemp home on wheels. So let's talk about some of the products that I'm going to be using. So on the very underneath of this tiny hemp home, I have used mag board. That's a little bit of hemp on it. So mag board, magnesium oxide board. This is flame retardant. It is mold and mildew, highly mold and mildew resistant. It cuts just like sheetrock. You can score it with a knife, snap it. You can cut it with a saw. You can use a keyhole saw. This stuff's awesome. So this mag board is very eco-friendly. I, I love the product. It's basically just compressed magnesium oxide with a fiber center into the board. It's breathable. That's why it goes so well with building with hempcrete because it will allow vapor moisture to pass through and then to be released as the humidity dries out inside your home, it will help release the humidity back in. So by using magnesium oxide board on my floor, and I'm going to be doing it on the ceiling and the roof, I don't need to use a vapor barrier on the floor or the ceiling. Because of the hempcrete that I'm going to be using, there's no vapor barrier on the walls. So we have the magnesium or MGO board or mag board underneath. Then we used our hemp wool insulation in the deck. We'll put a picture up here to show it. But this is awesome stuff. It's made from the outer bark of the hemp plant. This is, I believe, 80% hemp and 20% post-consumer uh, because like nylons and, and scrap clothing. One of the great pleasures of, of working with this after working with that nasty pink toxic insulation, which gives you rashes and, and you know, your clothes, your, your car is now filled with it. You bring it home, your, your, your family's gonna be breathing it in. This is awesome. I love this stuff. Like I said, I would sleep on it. I have no problem with this stuff. I just love it. So the difference between this and pink fiberglass insulation is night and day. I would never, ever, ever ask anybody to insulate anything with pink fiberglass insulation for as long as I live. This is the product. So for the bamboo framing, I cope out or fish mouth out the bottom of the pole. That's going to get attached and screwed right onto the bottom plate. Then we're going to build our forms when the framing's done and tamp our hempcrete in for the wall. Thanks. For your interest, I appreciate it greatly. The whole goal of this project is to be able to offer a solution to end immediate homelessness. And then of course, to be able to build, I wanna do eight by 14 long sheds and trailers because you don't need a permit for 120 square foot structure on your property. So the goal is to build those and it can just be an empty shed all the way up to with a loft to sleeping for sleeping and of course a full kitchen bathroom area everything with a composting toilet thanks for visiting tiny hemp homes and thank you for your support